Dozens of Scapoose parents divided on a board resolution to remove a book from a grade school reading list. The book is called George. This is too advanced of content for my eight-year-old to be reading. It's about a kid named George who was born a boy but dreams of being a girl. This is a book that um, was a great way to introduce gender identity and gender confusion to our children. But many parents feel parts of the book are too mature for grade schoolers. I would argue that no book that has the language used in this book such as dirty magazines, penis bobbing between her legs, and growing some balls is a high quality writing for an eight-year-old. The book George is part of a reading list for a statewide volunteer reading contest called Oregon Battle of the Books, or OBOB. The Skepoos School Board proposed taking George off the list. That would mean kids participating in the after-school program wouldn't be able to compete in the regional and state OBOB contests. This book was nominated by many people around the state. Stuart Levy is president of the Oregon Association of School Libraries. He says one of OBOB's goals is to expand kids' worldview. We always encourage everybody to read a variety of books, books that are similar to themselves, books that are different from themselves, they're windows into the world and to other people. Hey. On this night, it seemed the board agreed, voting down the resolution five to two. It's a disappointment that we couldn't have come to some sort of compromise that fit every, everyone's opinion. Oh, I'm so grateful that the board made the right decision here. The Canby School District decided to omit George from its grade school OBOB reading list, and both the Hermiston and Cascade School Districts decided they just wouldn't participate in this year's OBOB competition at the elementary school level because of the book. Back to you. All right, Catherine, thank you. There's a lot of people at that meeting had opinions. We want to know what your opinions are at home, so we have our viewer voice poll open right now. Let us know what you think about the book. Just go to kgw.com slash vote or click the Vote Now tab on your KGW app. We'll check in on the results a little later in the show.